Hey everybody, welcome back to Algebra. Um, today we're going to talk about perimeter and circumference, um, which is kind of the first steps we're going to be taking towards learning about shapes. Uh, so we're going to start off with perimeter, and perimeter is good for any shapes that have four sides, like, um, or well, I guess any, any shape that has three sides or more, so triangles, squares, rectangles, pentagons, whatever. Um, and, and even some weird shapes, like for instance, like that, something that looks like a house or something that has like a triangle on top of a rectangle or something like that. Um, and perimeter, all perimeter is, is figuring out how much distance it is around a shape. So for instance, I've got a square here and a triangle. And to find the perimeter, we just have to add up all the different lengths of the sides. So for the square here, we would just have to add the length and the width and the length and the width, and we would get the perimeter. So let's let's put some numbers in there so we can do an example. Let's say this one is two and this one is five. I guess that's a square, so that doesn't make much sense, does it? Here, we'll get rid of the two. We'll make them both five. There we go, now it's a square. So if we add the length and the width up, twice, we would get 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5, and that would be 20. So that's the perimeter of that square. Same thing goes for the triangle. We just have to add up the length of all the sides. So for instance, we could have um, the height be 3 and the base be 4, and that would make this side 5. So if you add those all up, you get the perimeter of that triangle you get 3 plus 5, which is 8, plus 4, which is 12. And that would be the perimeter, the distance around the object. Now, circumference is a little bit different, and it's only for circles. So here I've got a circle, and it's got a radius. Okay, remember, radius is the distance from the center of the circle all the way to the outside of the circle. And so to find the circumference, you need to use an equation. 2 times pi times r. Now let's say this, this circle's r is 6. So r is equal to 6. In that case, you would have to multiply 2 times 6 times pi. And we're going to use 3.14 for this example. Make it easy. So 2 times 6 is 12. And we need to multiply that by 3.14. So let's do that over here. We've got 3.14. We're going to multiply by 12. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 1 times 4. Oh, hold on. That part's empty. There we go. 4. 1 times 1, 1 times 3, and there's two decimal places, so we'll put the decimal in the center here with the two spots. We'll add this up. 8 plus 0 is 8, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 1 is 7, and 3. So the circumference of this, this circle here would be 37.68. Now sometimes your teacher might say, instead of actually multiplying by pi, they'll just have you write the answer like this. 2 times 6 is 12, and then they'll just have you leave pi there. Okay, These are the same thing, 12 pi and 37.68. So it's okay if you choose to, if your teacher asks you to do either. Okay, um, But both of them are acceptable answers. Okay, Thanks for learning about perimeter and circumference. Remember, perimeter and circumference is just a measurement of the outside of a shape. So for a circle, that involves using this formula right here, 2 times pi times r. And for, circum uh, for, for perimeter, it's just adding up the, the lengths of the sides. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, and next time, we'll talk about area. Bye.